although it is February of 1922. I am an old man named Mark Jenkinson and I like to go to the general store and buy some old Maybells or natural baked beans. Well, I am two months and a day late and that is because I have forgotten to get into the general store. Yesterday to check in on them I got a kick out of that and felt as though the local Maybells was for them. Well, it was about two hours of strolling and thrifting, but my search for the forgotten buckets of gold and silver had yielded me far more than I had bargained for. My search began in the largely abandoned town of White Hongo, now the site of a convention center, across a railroad trestle from downtown. There, on a newly renovated wooden bridge over the Willamette River, I found the nearly forgotten golden cube of coins, gold nickels and small silver weights. It was as if the town had been rebuilt and yet all that remained was the walls. We walked down to the water that was the only source of water for most of the town, and hiked down some more. We chose to go to the baths, it was about 20 minutes and they were about a one minute walk away. And it was full of huts, small houses, many food stalls and even something like a couple of old farmers stalls. The western section of the town was uninhabited so we decided to head over to the neighboring town of Kavarka for a bourbon.